Hello, hello beautiful people. Thank you for tuning in and I'm here with another video for you um, on the moon and this time we are looking at uh, the Taurus full moon so it's an earth sign this month. Uh, the last video that I did was a new moon in Scorpio so it was like a new moon uh, in water and uh, we still have a sort of little bit of a Scorpio theme going on here still and I'll come to that in a little while but I was thinking about the energies for this um, full moon in Taurus and what came to my mind because you know everything is about energy and we have archetypes of um, energy and themes and things sort of play out in in you know various ways so what was coming to my mind because I kind of like looked at uh, I made a few notes and I looked at uh, the fact that um, the Taurus is 19 degrees uh, 51 and so it's almost 20 degrees you know it's so close to 20 degrees so we might as well say 20 but opposite that is the um, sun and very close to that is mercury so the sun is 19 20 degrees and then you've got the mercury which is uh, now retrograde went retrograde um, on the 31st which was yesterday so and um, it's going to remain retrograde till the 20th of November um, so the moon is actually in opposition in the sign of Scorpio uh, with the where the sun is so the sun and moon you know um, so with the Mercury retrograde as well, you know, it's about communication. What are we communicating to ourselves? Um, because it's retrograde. So it's stuff that is going on from sometimes from the past. Usually everything happening in the current moment is linked to the past somehow. And so there is a theme going on linked to something that's been going on before. Okay, so um, what I was like when I was trying to tune into the energy, what was coming to my mind was underground. Okay, and then I thought mm, underground and then I thought underworld because it's Scorpio and um the communication is about something quite deep um and the issue that is something quite deep and so um also if we kind of take into consideration the moon's coming into trine with a pluto which is 21 degrees and saturn which is 16 degrees and then we've got Cancer, which is 10 degrees, the North Node in Cancer, 10 degrees. And then I looked to where, see where uh, Venus was, and it's 13 degrees in Sagittarius. The, the reason uh, Venus is important to take into consideration here is because it is the ruler of um, Taurus. Uh, Venus rules both Taurus and Libra, but in different ways. So in Taurus, it becomes very sort of like about the physical body, sensuality, um, about love of foods and uh, money and those sort of things. Uh, comforts, you know, material comforts uh, that you can feel and sort of, uh, you know, experience and see. So it becomes very much things like that. So with the moon uh, sorry with the north node in cancer feminine emotions the moon feminine and i usually like to kind of put all the energy together um and to see what comes out of that what theme comes out of that you know, uh, what is the real sort of depth, core meaning going on? 
And what became, because there is obviously the underworld, and then we've got the upper world. And so, and we're, you know, like, then there's us in the middle world, the consciousness going on. So, um, we have got all three worlds interlinked. We usually do, but obviously on this particular um, configuration, it is definitely, you know, uh, sort of like um, I thought when I was tuning into, you know, the feminine, uh, the the emotions, the underworld, and then, you know, I tuned in to see what it was all about and what came up was Persephone. Persephone is the Greek goddess of the underworld. She rules the underworld. She is also, um, you know, rules vegetation and crops. Taurus, the earth, vegetation, crops, okay? So um, that is very much the, and she's also feminine, so the North Node, you know, in Cancer. So she is very much the energy that's going on here. Now, Persephone also, the pomegranate, which is about something of permanence, okay? Now, when I thought about all these energies and the, what the planets are doing, I like to bring everything together and understand it sort of in a nutshell rather than the energies being scattered everywhere. So putting, in a, putting it in a nutshell, okay, um, with the Mercury retrograde, talking to the sun, shining the light on something, okay, that we need to bring to the surface that is going to have some sense of sustainability, okay, so per some sort of permanence going on. Now we could look at this on a global level for the whole planet. What can there be uh, that can be done for the planet globally that's going to bring about sustainability and more permanence um, for everybody, okay? So there might be some ideas coming up for people and people might come up with some kind of um, inventions and ideas, things, you know, that would benefit the planet in some way. And I hope that, you know, something like that will happen. The energies are very much uh, for it. Uh, if it, you know, and, and with the Venus, the love of, because it's in Sagittarius and it means the higher mind. So thinking of things on a higher level, you know, and um, very much so. But if it's on a personal level, then I would um, say that maybe it is uh, something about, you know, working on issues of uh areas that um, may be around love, may be around grief, you know, maybe there could have been love lost or, you know, some, some kind of grief process. Um, maybe you need to just clear that out. Uh, maybe some kind of loss of some sort, um, because obviously there's, there's, you know, like I said, the underworld that is involved. Um, and so those emotions could be, you know, stored, being held, still in the psyche in the subconscious um uh, and that's that's kind of like the underground underworld you know what i was saying initially um so very much with the persephone themes about love but also the loss you know around love you know sometimes uh relationships break up there's a grief process sometimes one of the partners can uh, obviously pass away something could happen there's a there's a loss and there's a grief process um you know so so uh there could be themes around that you know if you have even if you've moved on perhaps with the mercury retrograde something may uh be coming up that uh, you're revisiting that maybe needs shifting that you hadn't thought about uh, around that um the other thing is you know like uh, 
maybe getting more into being green fingered um, with the, the full moon in Taurus, but also the other energies that are going on around it. And, you know, starting to maybe grow your own things. So becoming more into like permaculture or maybe just uh, having an allotment or something in your own garden or even in your, your house or flat, something starting maybe something small. But overall, very much, you know, the theme is about going within, going into the subconscious, going into the underworld working through that information and bringing it into the light you know so with the communication that's going on with the sun there it is about bringing it to the light bringing it to the surface and then um, shifting all that energy and you know so maybe just go for a walk in nature as well with the Taurus theme of uh, um, earth Okay, so that's kind of like, if you have any questions, please do contact me. And that's more or less kind of like the theme about the, the Taurus full moon going on at the moment. Um, and if you would like to book in a session with me uh, for journeying around that, then please contact me because I, um, part of the reason for my astrology is very psychotherapeutic and I work with what I call astro shamanic work and you know take people on um, healing journeys and so if you want to explore something and go on a healing journey um, then please please do contact me and uh, I'd be happy to uh, help so um, take care have a good month and I'll be back with um, the next full moon video very soon and uh, obviously the new moon in between as well and maybe other things and check out um, some of I've started to do some testimonials as well um, you know just to share actually with uh, with this energy that uh, is going on for me um, with this uh, with the, the recent new moon in Scorpio but also the, the you know leading on to the full moon and because there's still very much a Scorpio theme going on now one of the things actually that I um, just realized is that uh, later on we have also uh, got Mars you know uh, the planet of energy um, and assertiveness and action and direction moving in to Scorpio as well and so this the whole theme combined I would say really going to yourself and journeying you know is going to be so appropriate I have Mars in Scorpio innately anyway which is why I do so much journeying going within and um, working on issues of uh, psychology and psychotherapy etc so anyway that's um me for today and uh speak to you soon take care have a great week bye, -bye.